Are you recording this? Uh, hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back. So, uh, you know, for those who've been following me for a while, Claude is, he's been my sensei teaching me option trading and stuff like that. And I, you know, it's, it's what a great learning experience. Uh, this is, uh, okay, so I'm looking at Neo right now. And uh, I'm trying to sell my NEO. So there's two ways to sell your NEO. You can just sell it to limit order, uh, you know, the standard way that you've been selling, buying and selling stocks uh, for $4.40 market price, bam, it's sold, all right? But you're not gonna get any money out of it. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to sell it using cover call. Uh, so essentially what I'm doing is I put, um, the price is 440, so I'm playing literally the next ticker down, the next, line down which is 450 and it's at 13 dollars uh, 13 cents so by that i get roughly you know with with three contracts i get roughly about you know 40 50 dollars a, uh, a week uh, i'll tell you exactly how much you get i'm going to click on it real quickly here uh and i got three contracts so this one here i got roughly 42 dollars you know yeah so far three weeks now i have not successfully sold my uh, Neo, but however, I've been getting forty to fifty dollars every week, so, so that's pretty pretty, pretty neat. Um, okay, so, but Clark just mentioned something about selling in the money. Okay, so let's. Can you explain that again, Clark? I. Yeah, sure. Let me drop this here snapshot in the general discussion. Okay. That way you can look at it. And you you probably see the same thing on your Schwab account as well on what you're getting ready to see there. But it's just the options chain on Neo for next week. Yep, that well that's the screen I'm looking at right now. I'm okay, sorry, I should show you my so screen. yeah. Let me show you my screen then. Okay. Yeah, that's that's probably make better. Here you go. Yeah, there we go. All right, so. Currently, right now, Neo is trading at looks like four dollars and forty cents. Yep. Okay. So what you could do is you've been selling the four fifties, the one strikes out of the, one strike out of the money. Yeah, pretty much one strike out of the money. You've been doing? for three weeks now, and I've been okay. Asleep. Okay. So just think about this. This this logic here okay if you are looking like you said earlier if you are looking to get rid of the stock you know it's like it's to serve your purpose but you want to get paid for it yeah right and you want to get rid of it let me put this into my calculator here <clears throat> let me see share price is at 440 strike price is at four bucks 45 cents, no, 43 cents, I'm sorry. Since you're getting 43 okay. cents a share, it's 440, so I'm only getting three cents. Yeah, I'm going to show you the... the quick graph, the quick calculation, mm -hmm. which, you know, you, you've done in your head. But this is the situation if you sell that four dollar, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the quick numbers that you see there, right? Mm -hmm. And just for giggles, we see there's a 350 in there, so let's do this. Mm -hmm. And then that way we can talk about the scenarios kind of side by side. 350. So I have split screen. I have a, I have a 3.5 strike price on the left side and $4 on the right side. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Right. Yep. It shows up on the split. Yep. yep. So like you said, you can go ahead and you can sell them flat out. You know, just put in a market order or put in a limit order for whatever you want. That's one way to do it. Or you can turn around and you can sell the end of money cover calls, mm -hmm. right? And uh, you can get assigned 
they they can be assigned to somebody, you know, and they they get basically taken away from you. Can, okay, can you which is another way to do it. And you the, get paid in the, the money same time. For, for, uh, can you explain in the money to for, for those who doesn't understand that? So, yeah. yeah. So, so basically, an in the money uh, option is an option that has intrinsic value. Mm-hmm. And when I say intrinsic value, what I'm talking about is actual real money. Mm-hmm. So if we look at that option chain that you got displayed right there, you look at the $4 strike price, mm-hmm. right? That $4 strike price is lower than the actual open market price, Yep. which means that it's lower by, when you do the math, 40 cents. So that option has 40 cents of intrinsic value that is built into the price of that option and the rest of it is extrinsic or sometimes people refer to it as time value Mm -hmm. so the same thing with the 350 the intrinsic value on there is roughly 90 90 cents with the remaining of that options price being extrinsic value. So when you hear people talking about intrinsic value, that term intrinsic, don't be scared by it. All it means is true money, mm-hmm. the actual real value that's in there. The rest of it is fluff, time value, and things like that. Like when you hear you hear them talking about yield max and they're talking about, you know, trying to sell extrinsic value or the time value, this, that, and the other, that's what they're talking about. They're talking about that fluff. Yeah. It, it, okay. Is it uh, a layman term or easier way to define it? Incentric value mean, or in the money means, essentially anything. In this case, because it's a call, uh, it's essentially below the strike price. Anything in the blue yeah. here. Yeah. Is that yeah. is that would be easier? Yep. To... Yep. Yep. So that's how, gonna, that's the how the blue, option change market. Yeah, so yep. anything in the blue or anything lower than the strike price, uh, pretty much if you hit if you hit fill, they they they're gonna exercise they can exercise it. They can, yeah. Be- because because you, you you instantly you instantly get below the strike price. Right. There's there's value, there's true value there. Yep. And and why would now the reason I do it because I wanna sell it and at least I get some call for it. Is any value yeah. to do it just to make money, but you don't want to, you know? Is so, there so there it? is, yeah, yeah, there is a, there is a reason, but that's, that goes into another tactic of aggressive cover calls. Oh, that's that's a whole other discussion there. So, right. and and, I, and I'll touch bases on it, no problem, no problem, because I've I've done it many times myself. If you are a chart reader, mm-hmm. okay, and Let's just say you're reading a chart and you're looking at some type of weakness coming up where stock XYZ is getting ready to start turning to the downside. Mm -hmm. And you can clearly see this and you have conviction in this. You can get away with selling and you got to play. It's a fine game too that -hmm. you got to play with the time on it. But you can get away with selling a in the money cover call and let that stock start to fall. Mm-hmm. And let's just say where typically a regular person would sell that 450, right? Mm-hmm. And get 14 cents. Mm-hmm. A more sophisticated technical trader may look at that 350 or even that $3 and they may sell one of those options okay and let's say they sell it at let's say we take the 350 they sell it at 93 cents no i'm sorry they sell it at 75 cents it looks like what it's going for they sell it at 75 cents what they'll do is they'll let that intrinsic value the actual true that true value because that that's what's going to really change when the stock is going down because remember, intrinsic value is made up of the difference between the strike price and what the actual market value price is. Mm-hmm. So when that's actually moving, 
so is the intrinsic value of the option that you're looking at if it's in the money. Mm -hmm. So if stock XYZ falls, let's say, 40 cents for some reason, the intrinsic value of that option is going to fall by 40 cents. And then you got deltas that you got to play in there that kind of offset that as well. So I'm kind of giving it like a real oversimplified explanation. Because like I said, the Greeks, when it comes to option trading, also play a, play a, a major factor in the pricing of uh, options value. But like I said, but I, before I get off into a tangent, a whole nother you know, rabbit hole with that specific that specific tactic. There is, like I said, there is a benefit of selling in the money options okay. uh, if you're a technical trader. But in your sense, if you're looking to get these shares taken away from you mm -hmm. by April 12th, you have a much greater chance of them being taken from you at the four dollar strike price or even at the three dollar and fifty cent strike price. Yeah. As opposed to doing a four fifty. Yeah, but but the difference is that if I put a four dollar strike price four fifty strike, if Neo decides to drop down to four twenty, yeah. you're still holding on to those shares for another however long. You know, at least for another week. You see that you see what I'm saying? Oh, because they're not going to exercise it. Exactly. If you sell a $4, yeah. you get 43 cents. Yeah, 43 cents. Up front. And if it drops down to what I say, 420. Yeah. You but it's 440 right now. For, yeah, yeah, it's at 440. And if it drops down to 420 by the end of next week, yeah. you will get those shares taken away from you at $4. Yeah. Now, granted, you lose 20 cents on the stock, but you gain 43 cents on the option premium that you receive. So you still come out ahead. Because mm -hmm. you got 43 cents on the premium, you're going to give back 20 cents of that because of the actual stock. All right. Let me see if I can re explain it because. So yeah, I go can, ahead. So I can follow it. All right. Um, so the let's let's recap this. The current price is four forty. Mm -hmm. um, I I have an option to sell at uh, at four at four forty. Uh, I'm sorry, four fifty. But it's not gonna it's not gonna be sold. So if I go down low to four dollar, it it's still not guaranteed to be sold because there's a forty three dollars diff uh, forty three cents uh, add on to essentially my four dollar strike price um, because. The buyer, uh, he has to, the the price has to drop to even lower than four forty three. It's currently four forty for him to even to make any money out of it. Is that correct? If he exercises it manually, yeah. But what's going to happen is there's been a rule that was put in place years ago. If they're one penny in the money, mm -hmm. they're going to get exercised automatically. Oh well, then as soon as I do that, they're going to get exercised then. Yeah, come Friday, yeah, it will automatically get exercised. Yep. As long as it go below uh well no, the strike price is four dollars. As long as my strike price is lower than my my, my uh the, the price of the market, I it's still gonna get exercised, that's correct? Right, right, right. That's why I was using the example. If it goes to four twenty, if it goes if the open market goes to four twenty then let's just say I'm on the other side of your cover call, yeah. right? So you sold that four dollar strike price at forty three cents to me, and yeah. I bought that at forty three cents, yeah. right? When the stock goes to four twenty, okay, then what happens is I have a choice that I can make manually. I can say, well, you know what? I'm in I'm in this deal with Kamir who will give me his shares at $4, right? Mm -hmm. Which, compared to the open market, it's at 420 Okay? 
So I have the choice of either going into the open market and buying it or taking it off your hands at four dollars. Open market's four twenty. But I getting lose, it off of you is four dollars. But I lose that twenty cents well, it's forty three cents and you take twenty cents mm-hmm. away. Yeah. So you get your shares taken away and you keep an additional twenty twenty three cents. Because mm-hmm. you sold that option at forty three cents. cents. Right. Wow. It's actually, believe it or not, it's actually a hot complex to understand. I, I, I like, I hear you, but. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, you have you have to see it in action to actually for yeah, that. Yeah, like I did not understand I, I, yeah. what, you, what you just yeah. said. Yeah, I understand. That's crazy. This is, this, this is like learning foreign language here because he he literally just explained it. I followed step by step, and and I I don't have I I don't have any uh, ability to ex- re-explain it back. You know, that's how you understand it. If you can re-explain it back to somebody, then you can understand. I, I literally have no idea what you just said to be able to re-explain it. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. okay, so I, somehow I got confused. All right, so let's let's start over again. Uh, the, so if if I put a $4, because right now 450 if I put 450 it's not going to sell and by Friday. Let's say the price, let's say the price maintained 440 all the way until Friday. So it's not going to be sold. So yeah. I got to go down lower. Make sense? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. anything below, well, in this case, it's $4. Uh, it's a $4 strike price. But the mm-hmm. $4 strike price is lower than 440 So therefore, it's going to get exercise. Correct. Okay. The difference is uh, I'm going to get I'm going to get $0.43 cents right up front. Okay. Mm-hmm. And... Now whatever whatever the price is, it could be four thirty nine. If it's four thirty nine, then what happens is that four dollar strike becomes out of the money. Yeah, it's out of the money because it's forty three cents. It's got to be four forty three. So then, so then at that point, what's going to happen is you will not get exercised. Yeah. So four thirty nine, no, uh, four four forty four, no, four forty three no, is right on the money, because yeah. because the yeah. forty three cents. Okay, so even though this thing doesn't show it, because I bought four, uh, the strike price is four dollar. It's four dollar plus forty three cents. Mm-hmm. That's where the new. That's essentially the strike price is. So the, the so, so basically what you're calculating is the break even. Yeah, that's what you're calculating. So that's essentially at 4:43 they get ex- they get exercise. No, not a, it goes the other way. It goes the other way. So so look again. Look at it from this standpoint. I'm on the other side of this trade, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to say, if I'm going to give you 43 cents for you to hold on to Neo, right? And I have the option to take it away from you at four dollars. Mm-hmm. That means I'm going to have yeah yeah you're right you're right four dollars and forty three cents invested in this entire transaction. Yeah, you're you're correct. So my even though it doesn't show it, my strike price is really if I if I if I sell a contract at four dollar, it's four dollars and forty three cents. That's the strike price. Even though it doesn't show it, make, make if, sense. If you want to look at it like, yeah, if you want to look at it like that, yeah, you can look at it like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Even, but it's still, you know, the current price right now is four forty. On Friday, when it hit four forty, it, it won't, it won't even exercise or get automatic exercise because the strike price is lower than. No, no, it's gonna get exercise because it's four dollar. Yeah, yeah, that's what. I, yeah, it's gonna get. Four, it's gonna exercise. It's yeah. gonna get exercise regardless because it's it's four dollar. It's a four dollar contract. Um, but, but I made three cents. <laughs> Correct. So no, you would have actually made, you would have actually made 23 cents. Well, where, did you, where did you get the 23 cent from? So you got four. So you get, so if, you, if this was open market right now, yeah. you would get 43 cents to go into this transaction. All you right. agree? Yep. Okay. So let's just say if it goes down to 
like we said earlier, four dollars and twenty cents. All right. Okay. So what happens is you're giving up oh. twenty cents from that open market open market value from right now, right? Because right now the current price is four forty. Yeah. If it goes down to four twenty, you are going to lose that twenty cents yep. per share. But that's okay because, because you was made given forty three cents. Forty three, right? Yeah. Which that leaves you really a difference of twenty three. All okay. right. Now, worst case, let's look at this from from your standpoint. Mm -hmm. Because you sold in the money like that. Mm -hmm. Because you sold that four dollar strike and you got forty three cents, you really don't lose money until the price drops below three dollars and fifty seven cents. Yeah. And all that is is the strike price minus the premium that you receive. That's your downside protection. Yeah. Down to three dollars and fifty seven cents. But either but, way, man, as long as long as stay lower than uh, four forty, the current price right now. Uh, no, yeah, as long as it stays above, as long as it stays above four dollars, right. yeah. I'm sorry, right. well, that's what that's the way I should look at it. As yeah. long as it stay above the four dollar, I'm gonna lose my share. Exactly. All right. Same thing if it's if if you did the three fifty strike. Yeah. Same scenario. As long as it stays above three fifty, they're gonna they're gonna take your shares away. This is like, this is like shortening it. You know, this is like you, you like you absolutely know this thing is gonna tank. Let's say, for example, see, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You got an inside ballpark knowing that Neo uh, is gonna get it's gonna get shut down by the government. <laughs> oh, not Neo. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is Neo. I'm sorry. Neo gonna get shut down by the government. You you just know this facts, okay? And uh, so tomorrow or uh, on Monday. You're gonna put like two fifty. <laughs> you collect the dollar eighty four premium, and then the stock gonna drop all the way to two forty nine, two dollar, one dollar. Guess what? <laughs> you 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 are you are safe. You're protected. You might, plus, you make a dollar eighty four cents. Yep. You know. <laughs> yep. Or, well, you want to get rid of your stock, and it, but they get rid of it, and but you get a dollar eighty four cents in addition to you getting rid of it. You know. Correct. That that's a little bit that's a little so, bit that's a little bit insane, insane speculation, man. You gotta be like a mind. It, it's it's an actual, it's an actual. Uh, like I said, it's an act, actual income generating process. So just just to go off on a tangent, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna give you an actual example. Another example here with real, mm -hmm. real numbers. Okay, I'm gonna drop this in the. Same little chat area. Oh, we we haven't got to your your image that you sent out. I'm sorry, we haven't got to talk about this. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, all we did was we just we just talked to it uh, through. You know, we we were just talking to it manually just now oh, without right. the visual. But yeah, but all it showed was uh, all it showed was the same numbers and things like that. Okay. That's all. It, that's all it did. All okay. right. So we're looking at so, Tesla here. Like, what, what's going on? Yeah, this, this is Tesla, right? This is Tesla. So when you look at this, you can see that on November the 21st, right? Uh -huh. 100 shares of Tesla were bought at, what, $240.30? All right. Now, what you saw was, that's the 21st. You can see that one option was sold to open because we're looking at the very top of this, right? Mm -hmm. One option was sold to open at what strike price? Uh, 240 240 And what was the premium collected? $4.95. $4.95. And I bought it at 240 Yeah. So in this scenario, I was looking to what? Not really keep the stock. Mm -hmm. Not really keep the stock, right? But what I did was... The, the 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 advanced you know where I talked about earlier about you know you're looking at the charts and you so you're selling a cover analysis. call for 240 and the strike price is, I mean the stock price is, is 240 and you your, your strike price is 240 and you make four dollars yeah. five cents from it. My, my, 
Right. So what I did was, you see the next day, yeah. 11.22? Yep. Okay. Te Tesla had a drop. Mm -hmm. What I saw in the short term was that Tesla was going to get weak. Mm -hmm. So what happened was that $4.95 turned into $0.95 cents the very next day. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I actually covered that call option and kept the shares and kept $4 in premium. Yeah, you, you buy so the close, sell the open, yep. 495, and then you buy the close at 95. So you lose 95 cents, but however, you kept $4 and plus you kept your share. Exactly. And that is that is a way that, you know, uh, uh, an advanced cover caller will utilize in the money options to sell cover calls. Wow, that's. But you didn't and want you to, can see you didn't did, want to lose your Tesla. You just doing it just to make that four dollar income. income, right? And as you see down there, I did it again on eleven twenty eight, November the twenty eighth, yeah. right? I, and I covered it. Same shares that I bought at two forty. Yeah, the so same shares at, I bought at. He's looking at here. So if you look at the my my mouse, that's the two forty strike price, and the current price is two forty. And he make four dollar and fifty one cents. And the next day, you turn around and you buy the close. You close the contract at two forty two, yeah. and then but you lose two dollar. But you get it's actually two dollar. You made two dollar and yep. forty six cents or something. Yep. like that. that's the idea. And I kept the shares. And, you and then the you can turn around and do it. Yeah, and you turn around and do it again. That's only if if they're going down. Mm -hmm. kind of that, that's, that's the thing you got you, you got to be in tune with the charts and what's happening yeah. with your indicators but but here's the thing though but if it go up uh if it doesn't you didn't lose your share it, then. yeah i didn't lose so in that first scenario right yeah. where i sold it at 495 let's just say if tesla would have went to four no tesla would have went to 245 or yeah. 246 or something like that yep yeah. Not a problem. I would have got my shares taken away, and I would have kept the five. I would have kept the four ninety five. Yep. Which I would have been okay with that defined profit. I would have been completely okay with that. Yeah, but it's five dollars, so you lose the share and the premium. Well, well, it's 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 five dollars. So I get my original two forty back that I used to buy the shares, right? All right. And I get and I get the additional four dollars and ninety five cents that I got for selling the call. Mm -hmm. So if the stock runs to two forty six, then basically, I, you know, that would have been what made roughly a uh, six dollar movement mm -hmm. that I would have missed out on. I'm okay with that because I would have gotten four ninety five out of it. Mm -hmm. Those numbers would have been defined when I did sat down and got into the transaction. But because it went down, you were tuned to it. It went down. You actually made, in this case, you made four dollars right. and you kept your share. Right. Because you, you, you exactly. You closed the contract up the next day. Does time matters? Uh, like exactly. it have to be the next day. It it, it can be whatever you set up. You know, because in this case, it was within that same week. Because if you notice the expiration, yeah. compared to the times when I purchased, yeah. they were like within a few days. So you're talking about me purchasing on November the 21st. Mm -hmm. And that expiration was, what, the 24th? Yeah. Yep. So we're talking about within a few days of expiration that Friday. Same thing down there on the November 28th transaction. That expiration was December first, just within a couple of days. All right, my friend, that was that was good. Uh, all right, that was, that was this is a very good class. I learned I learned a little more about cover call. Uh, man, the thing is, there's so much to learn. Like almost, you have to keep repeating it over and over it, again. You know, it is. And yeah, uh, you got to make some notes. Yep, you got to yeah. make some notes. Write them down in the way that you understand it. Yep. yep. Okay, so in this case, um, I do want to sell them, but I'm not in a rush to sell them where I'm going to drop to four dollars. So, so I'm putting at four fifty currently strike price. So if the if the if the the, the stock price go back to four fifty, yes, I will lose my share, 
but I get 13 cents, but that's the highest premium. But if I really, really want to sell them, mm -hmm. I just put four dollars. I'll get 43 cents uh, yeah. time, you know, yeah. three contract, whatever it is. But however, it's almost guaranteed because anything over four dollars, I'm going to lose my share. They're going to take it. They're going to take exactly. it exactly. Um, but no, I have. I, I haven't. I haven't looked at Neo. Yeah. I haven't looked at Neo. But what kind of movement does it have in the course of a week? Do you know that off the top of your it's head? Just, it's just been trending down this whole month. The whole month is trend down. Okay. Like, like, put it this way: I play one, I play one strike out of the strike for three weeks straight right now, and it has not, it has mm -hmm. not meet its strike. Uh, and, and not meet its okay. uh, what? What do you call it? one down or the, the next strike down? Right. Yeah. So it's just all right. So I'm looking at. Let me see. Neo at a short, so it looks like it was roughly just under 475 come Monday of last week. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. almost 40. Okay, that's a nice little movement down for the for the week. Yeah, so I'm just playing that way, and uh, I, I'm 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 taking a loss on it because I I'm just getting out of it because number one, the reason I own Neo like just like. So far and all that stuff, I own it just like so an option trading, but it's I, yeah. I don't I don't I don't I just don't care much about watching the stock eroding down, because I'd rather take this money and put it on something else like Tesla or not Tesla but you know an income fund or some or, or maybe Tesla you know or, or something else like yeah yeah and yeah it's tie it's tying up money yeah it's just tying up my money for for. For no reason, and then and then it's just eroding slowly, and it's not even yep. eroding fast; it's slowly. It's just tying up my money. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, those are those are your, those are your choices. You can go four fifty. Yeah. Uh, possibly keep this keep the shit. You'll probably be in a scenario where you'll keep the shares at the end of next Friday. Yeah. Or you can go four dollars or three fifty, and guarantee yeah. that you'll get paid. While they take them from you, yeah. I I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. I might I'm gonna just keep farming it. It's three weeks in a row so far. Okay. I made roughly almost a hundred, you know, thirty to one hundred fifty dollars. I didn't really calculate it, but because I want all my trade okay. and they're all forty dollars or more, and uh, and so okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is good. I I I hate to see Neo go, but it just it's just I think it's I'm too early. I'm I'm. I'm still a couple of years out to actually should invest in it, and and I'm doing it too early, um, and I'm gonna take that money and put it on something else that's that's more useful and make money. And this portion of cover cover call now, in SoFi situation, we'll talk about this some other time. But in SoFi, where I'm actually making money, you know, so in SoFi situation, let me let me click on it. My my cost average is six dollars and something cents, and the current price is seven forty. Mm -hmm. I definitely don't really want to lose my share, but I don't have any problem yeah. losing it. Yeah, so I play. There, I play there, there's a way to do also. that. There, huh? There's a way to do that. There's a way to do that because I was doing the same thing with Ford for a long time. Yeah, where my shares was underwater. My oh. my cost basis was underwater yeah. compared to you know what the open market was. And there's a way to do cover calls in that scenario as well. And actually, the way I was doing it, I was doing it purposely for the matching of Ford was paying a 15 cent quarterly dividend. Oh. And I was actually doing so a specific cents. tactic of cover calls. So you're trying to match yeah. the dividends yeah. with the cover calls, so you get 30 cents. You get more pre. You know, at least you're making up your money for for the for the the downtrend of Ford. My understanding. Yep, and I was bringing in, I was bringing in cover calls that were roughly twenty cents, twenty five cents. Oh. Using a, a, an advanced tactic, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, like I said, same thing. You got to be in tune with what the chart's saying. Okay. Wow, this is awesome, man. Okay. I, hey, brother, I uh, 
I learned a lot, but I don't want to hawk. I I know you came in for for something else, and I kind of hawk your time. <laughs> no, you fine. You you totally fine, man. All right. Totally fine. All right. Well, thank you. I'm gonna stop the recording here, and uh, all right.